index to a class. Alright? So next, the second type of reaction that we had there, what was it? Here we go. No? Yeah. Alright? So remember that examples of collagens are chlorine, gas, Br, it tends to be a liquid, iodine tends to be solid, room temperature. Alright? Ethene again, alright? So, alright, let's go with the general first. Uh, we'll just put it below. Ethene, alright? We can use any one of the collagen, right? So we are going to use bromine. I like to use bromine because bromine is one of the reagents which they will give you the example to distinguish between alkenes and alkenes. Alright, so the color. So I'm going to put the color in the book. So we are two liquid and it's brown. Brown liquid. Alright, this is colorless. Right? If we should mix these two reagents in the dark, so we don't need light in this case. Right? We scan in the dark. We're going to produce C. Substitute one of the hydrogen, it's called a halo alkene. So it's not alkenes only anymore, right? Okay? Use a uh, halo alkene. So again, using ethene as the example. Actually, we produce a standard, a standard 
That's what I'm seeing in this book. Sun? Yeah. This is water. And then in here. So here I'm just trying to show you where the, the molecules are. Alright, so one hydrogen will go here, OH goes there. Alright, so as you can see, alcohol is formed, which is uh, ethanol. Oxidation. Alright. This is potassium per right? right? So the alkene, again, using eating, but it's only propene, butene, it doesn't matter. Alright? Plus, in this case, in the exam, you will just go oxygen. Just use always the oxidizing agent. Alright? Because I don't expect you to balance that equation. Just use O as the oxidizing agent. But just to know that this oxygen is going to come from the potassium peroxide. Alright? I'm going to put H plus K. MnO4. Just to indicate that it is acidified. The H plus is acid. Just that's the per manganese, right? And in this case, we found the diol, right? It's a 2OH group. Should go here, right? So in addition to the, the halogenations of alkenes, the oxidation is also the next reaction that we use to distinguish between alkenes and alkanes. Alright? So as we know with the halogenation, it's like we're using bromine. That's the one the example they wanted to know in the exam. Bromine liquid will change to colorless in the alkene in the dark and no reaction with the alkenes in the dark right potassium permanganate is purple purple solution right it will go to colorless with the alkenes no reactions with the alkene Make note of this, you know, because you get it in the exam. I'm telling you, it's very important that you know to use a chemical reaction with color change to distinguish between an alkene and an alkene. Very important, alright? But I think when you go home, you can practice other questions, alright? That will not work because I want the class to flow, alright? So, under the correct conditions, ethene reacts with both hydrogen and water for each reaction, name the type of reaction. So for hydrogen, it's hydrogenation, right? Eh? For water, it's hydration. Right? Eh? So this is addition of hydrogen across a double bond. This is addition of water across a double bond. So hydration from water hydrate and hydrogenation from the hydrogen. Good. We state the conditions required for the hydration. What's required? Nickel catalyst. I believe it's 5 atmosphere on 50 degrees Celsius. Right? And the hydration is a 
harsh condition, right? For the water, it's uh, H3PO4 with sun as a catalyst, and we need uh, 300 degrees Celsius, I believe, and about 70 atmosphere. That's what's in the book. Alright. So as I said before, these are members, you just have to do them over and over until you remember them. Alright. So C name the product form and D. Those two will have to be C for the hydrogen, the product form is alkene. For the hydration, it's alcohol. Or you want a specific name. Well, if it's so it's ethane, so this specific name would be ethane, not a specific name, and this is ethanol. So if they give a specific alkene, they probably want a specific name of the product. Clear? But in general, it would be the general compound that it's formed. If they didn't give you a starting reactant, then you would just want the general one. Alright? Balance equation. Conditions are stated, right? And then that's for the hydrogen. They are both addition reactions, so two molecules come together to form one molecule, one larger molecule that is. Alright? Alright, so we can now move on to the reactions of alcohols. <coughs> 